Hey guys, it's Claudia here and today I'm doing a haul video showing you some goodies I got from the Crepe Paper Journey collection. I'm pretty sure that most of you will have probably seen this by now, but I wanted to have a video up so I can kind of refer back to it um, for when I do the Kill the Collection video. And maybe some of you will have not seen it, so, you know, I'm just going to show you a few things that I got. So this first paper is called itinerary. I have no clue how you pronounce that. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of this word completely, but it's just this grid design and it's kind of like a teal color and has some distressed um, parts here and there. And I got two of that one. So again, I did not get all the patterns in this collection. And then this is just this, I'm not sure if it's pink or red doesn't kind of looks like a mix in between or something and then it has like these plus signs and some of the plus signs are kind of distressed um so yeah then whoops. next up i got this paper and it's called navigate and this is just like um it's kind of like a wavy pattern but the pattern is kind of like zigzaggy, like in between. I'm sure you can see that. So that's kind of cool. And I'm sorry, I have to focus again. Then this side is this kind of street map, I guess. So that's really nice. I think this will make a nice background. Hold on, I'm going to pause the video. I don't think my camera is properly focused. There we go. I paused the video for a second because um, when it focuses, it makes an annoying sound. And I figured that might be off-putting to you guys, so I just paused it for a second. But yeah, got this paper. And then next up, we have this paper, and it's called Tribal. And I love the colors of this paper. It's like pretty much all the colors within the collection. But... You know, it's just really pretty, and I got two of it because I love both sides. And you know, if you've watched my videos, you know that I use both sides um, on double-sided paper since I don't use mixed media, at least not yet. So uh, I got two sheets uh, just because I love it so much. And then this is just this um, kind of like a wood grain kind of design, and it. It has like distressed edges, which is really beautiful. And then this paper is called Happy Camper. And I'm not sure what this pattern is called or what it kind of is like. What kind of shape is that? Almost like, like a diamond shape or something, but then within there's like, you know whatever you call that <laughs> but yeah that is this side and then the other side is just a bunch of well in my country we call them caravans I'm not sure what you would call them in the US maybe the same but um they're just a bunch of those so that is a nice paper and definitely matches the journey um, theme of the collection then next up is this paper called let's go and it's just a cut apart sheet and I got two of it because um, oops, I got an extra sheet there because um, I love both sides and I want to use both sides so I always get two of the cut apart sheets because I always love them so <laughs> you know, it's easy so those are those and then this paper is called Route or Root, I'm not sure which one of the two is right, but it's just this um, pink kind of cream striped paper and it's really pretty. It's going to make a really nice background and has some distressed um, edges kind of on the sides. And then this side is, I'm not sure what the background design is. It kind of looks like, it's kind of like a wood color, but the pattern is not really wood per se but then just has a bunch of camping and traveling symbols on top of it so I'm not really sure 
how or if I'm going to be able to use this as a background. It seems quite busy, but we'll see if I can make it work. And then last but not least, we have this paper called Explore. And this is just kind of like a cork background and then those triangles. It's a really nice paper, I really love this one, but I adore this cloud paper. I love cloud papers. I feel like I should buy them more often. I feel the last time I used the cloud paper was in the Maggie Holmes Starboard collection. And this one's quite similar, but I love it. So those are all the papers I got. I'm gonna pause the video and show, show you the embellishments that I got. So here are the embellishments that I got. I'm gonna start with showing you the 6x6 paper pad that I have. And let me just quickly flip through so you can kind of see what patterns are in there. I think there's two of each pattern. So that's nice. So that is the 6x6 paper pad. Then I got these puffy stickers and I love the arrows and the little stars and um, just like with um, craft market I feel like puffy stickers are really nice to add a little bit more um, accents I guess to your layout and there's 53 in this pack then I got the cork stickers and you know I just love I'm, I'm gonna say I'm not the biggest cork fan but I really loved how well this matched the collection, so I decided to get them. And it just has, it's single sided, and there's 48 stickers. And I also love how there's like arrows and these um, sing, uh, symbols, you know, so it's not just words. So there's those. Then um, I got the sticker sheet, and it's 231 stickers that's probably because there's an alphabet on the other side so i really love the stickers i really do like the kind of muted color scheme in this collection and oh i forgot to pull out the chipboard so let me get that real quick sorry about that you know i never get a crepe paper collection without getting the chipboard so this is the chipboard sheet for this collection and it has a bunch of I guess truffle themed icons but there's also a few that um, you could probably use for whatever like the fetters doesn't have to necessarily be for a journey traveling themed layout so this is the chipboard and this is the ephemera and there's 63 pieces in there so I'm just gonna open it up and lay them out on the background here so you can kind of see what's in there so I'm gonna do that now um, so I just put them out here and before I forget um, I was supposed to go home to Denmark yesterday but my mom extended my visit so I'll be going home in two weeks so until then there won't be any process videos um, which kind of sucks because I was really looking forward to making them again but then again I'm also happy to be here for a little bit longer because I have no clue when the next time will be that I'll be able to go home so, um, you know, there's going to be a small break uh, from me when it comes to process videos. Probably videos all together because I don't want to spam you all with layout shares. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, this is the Firma pack and it has a bunch of gold cleared accents. And there's also a lot of arrows, which I really love. I really love the arrows. So, um, I really love the ephemera pack and this cute little, or camping wagon, caravan, whatever. And then there's a mix between, um, you know, cardstock and vellum pieces. There's not a whole lot of vellum pieces, there's a few here that are vellum. But most of it is just cardstock, so if you're not a big vellum person then you could still get this ephemera pack because there's not a whole lot of vellum pieces in here so that is the ephemera pack in a nutshell <laughs> um 
So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm really looking forward to going back home and start with the poolside collection and finish up confetti. Which, by the way, for confetti, I think I'm still going to be able to do quite a few layouts. Because I didn't use that much of it yet. So I think I'll just probably mix it up with the free collections that I'll be having. Which is going to be this one, Journey, Poolside, and uh, Maggie Holmes Confetti. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you will have a great day and I will see you in two weeks. Bye!